Good morning. Today is Monday. It's Easter Monday. And um all day yesterday I stayed home to rest. I was supposed to it was supposed to be a luxe day as per the clips in this vlog, the previous clips, but I was not feeling well and I have the greatest partners in the world and they told me to just stay home and take it easy and they took care of everything so obviously very grateful to them. But last night at like 2 o'clock in the morning my throat was so bad like so bad to the point where I called my sister woke her up and I was like I need to go to the emergency room and I have a really high pain tolerance. I mean I have an arm full of tattoos and it was just so bad and so unbearable and um i'm big on like googling things so i'm googling my symptoms um i keep getting strep throat and then um just home remedies to cure a sore throat so like gargling salt water i tried that didn't work um eating ice actually worked temporarily it provided me the relief but then after when i wasn't eating the ice it was just so bad and i was like this happened from 2 to 3, it was unbearable, and I was like, there's no way I'm going to make it to 10 o'clock in the morning for when the walk-in clinic opens. So, surprisingly, I took a whole bunch of antihistamines, I took like four areases, I took two the, a couple hours before and then I took two again, because I thought maybe it's an allergy. Um, I break, I've been breaking out in hives all week too, so I thought maybe it's another symptom of that. And then I took some Advil um, to get rid of the pain, and I was able to at least get through the night. I wasn't able to sleep because it was so unbearable. I could not swallow. Um, it was really, really bad. So I'm going to the doctors now, and today we have our photo shoot where we're collaborating with a whole bunch of people in the industry. So. I don't know how I'm going to feel like my sort my throat is at its worst as it's been in the last five days and it's like making it's more on this side and it's making my ear hurt and because my ear hurts I have a fever at the moment and it's just not a good time so obviously if I end up doing something I'll take you guys along with me if I end up staying at home um, then there's not gonna be much to vlog but I'll still take you along with me so I'll talk to you guys soon so I got back from the doctors and it turns out that I do have strep throat. Um, just so for anyone who wants to know the difference is when you have a sore throat, it's a viral infection where a strep throat is a bacterial. And like I said, the pain that I was in yesterday was just unbearable. And it kind of sucks because he wanted to give me stronger antibiotics, but I'm allergic to penicillin. Like I'll break out in hives for like weeks and weeks and weeks even if I just take one so he had to give me kind of a weaker antibiotic and he said it might not even work after five days and I might have to go back to get something uh, different or something stronger so like I said today is the photo shoot where we're collaborating with everyone and my partners are so amazing and they're just kind of like stay at home relax and you don't have to come but um, maybe it's the control freak in me or just wanting to make sure that everything goes well and smooth because we are one team and we want to make sure that we all succeed together so I think I'm gonna go um, and as stupid as this may sound like I think I'm gonna do my hair and makeup because I think that if you feel if you look good and you feel confident on the outside like internally it reflects on how you feel even when I used to write my exams uh, back when I was in university I was used to make sure like my hair and makeup were done because I felt like I did better because I was more confident so I think I'm gonna do that I'm still not able to like bear I'm barely able to swallow my spit let alone like eat solid food so I've been drinking like a, a lot of tea and I think I might get honey. We live in an Indian house and there's no honey at my house so I'm not quite sure what happened there but so yeah I'm gonna do my hair and makeup. I don't think I will time lapse it or record it because I'm on a bit of a time crunch but um, I will take you guys along today with me for this photo shoot. I might time lapse that and I think that'll come, it'll be pretty cool to see that come together so if my volume is low and I don't make a whole lot of sense because I'm just oriented, I apologize, but I will talk to you guys soon. So I'm on my way to meet my brother. We have to buy a few things and the warehouse that we use um, is not going to be available until 6 p.m. So we can't do any setup 
until then but i will take you along with me in terms of the stuff that we buy for the shoot um or maybe i'll keep it a surprise until the end i don't know so i guess you'll have to wait and find out um i asked my mom how i look and she's just like you look like you know you're not feeling well but you're trying to cover it up with all this makeup and to an extent i kind of am i already feel like maybe it's just in my head placebo effect that i feel better because i look better so i don't know i think i'm on the right track in terms of that thinking uh for anyone that cares to know i'm wearing ruby woo on my lips by mac and yeah so i will talk to you guys soon you only, you can only not see it from here, you can see everywhere else. I specifically asked him not to say anything because I'm vlogging and he still did. Anyways, so here, I don't know if you can see it all in the back, but this is what we came up with for our photo shoot today. Like I said, I will tag everyone's information below. So stalk them, follow them, you know, do what you need to do. But here is a close up of everything we did today and get ready for another montage. you can well you can see me now i came home just to change and take my makeup off like that's how much i hate having makeup on my face and i almost wish like that i never put it on to begin with but i felt like i needed to let you know that i was changing because then you'd wonder why i look different in the next clip i feel so much better It was so nice meeting new faces and getting to know them um, and like networking and yeah just hearing everyone's story like understanding why they do what they do and it's always cool getting the back the backup story to a person um, tomorrow um, as you can tell my throat like my voice sounds better but my tonsils still feel massive in my throat um so i don't think i think tomorrow i'm just gonna use it as a day to relax and finally like recover from this and just drink lots of fluids eat lots of soup and be ready for the rest of the week we have such a busy wedding season in terms of lux decor um lux event studio sorry can't even say my own company's name right but um yeah so i want to make sure that you know what's one thing i'm not good at multitasking in case you haven't noticed so i just want to make sure that i'm ready to conquer and ready at 100 percent 
capacity and be, be able to handle all of that and whoa I'm so close to the camera I should be holding it like back here um but yeah that's all so have a good night it was nice talking to you and I will see you guys in a bit hello 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 uh, today is Wednesday I believe it is the 19th um, I'm so behind on my vlogs but not because I'm not editing them or like I'm slacking I have all of my vlogs lined up but I don't know if I want to start posting them on other days of the week and I feel like if I start doing that it kind of defeats the purpose of Boudoir Diaries so I almost want to play catch up by like not doing too much with my life and I guess not vlogging as much but I love vlogging I've always really really enjoyed it um, and now that I'm actually doing it and I feel like my comfort is showing through the camera like I know when I'm being uncomfortable or I know when I'm being awkward um, but I'm really enjoying it so like I don't want to slow down my pace I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do um, but lately I've been watching a lot of other vloggers uh, just to see like what they're doing right or maybe what I feel like they can be doing better and there's so many amazing vloggers out there um, and everyone has like really interesting personalities and really interesting takes on how they depict their vlogs like some people are amazing with the camera amazing with their editing and other people are just so good with their content and so good with their personality and how they depict themselves that it doesn't really matter if their editing is a1 quality or if their camera is the best of the best you know so it's interesting to see that and I'm learning so much just by watching um, but I'm always looking for constructive criticism so like lay it on me if there's anything that you feel like I can do better uh, let me know or if there's anything that you enjoy watching and I should do more of like maybe it's myself getting ready doing my hair my makeup um, the time lapses, all the decor, takedowns, etc. Or me just talking to the camera and like giving my insight on these little things that go on in my head. Let me know. So, um, as you saw from my previous clips, I was really sick. I had a really bad sore throat, a strep throat. And today I went to work and I was swamped. Like, I had so much on my plate as soon as I got to work and I felt like I was being pulled and like. A million directions and um, it was a little overwhelming I ended up working 11 hours today so I got to work around 7 30 and I didn't leave until like 6 30 ish I think um, so yeah it was a very very long day and now I have a huge migraine and for anyone who gets migraines I think for me it's more so genetics like my mom has really really gets really really bad migraines um, it's just one side of my head that's throbbing it literally feels like my heart is beating in my head um, it's super annoying so I just took some Advil cold and sinus it's the only thing that really helps me get rid of migraines um, no amount of sleep or like closing my eyes or being in a dark room or anything like that really helps um, I also realize like my volume is not that loud it's honestly because like I'm not feeling well I have a fever as well so not to like complain about my health I mean I'm sure there's people out there that are going through worse things but I'm just not feeling myself so the next couple of days are gonna be pretty slow this weekend pretty slow um, maybe I'll do something interesting I think I'm ready to do the get to know me tag um, just to give everyone insight on the kind of person that I am um, my likes dislikes you know why I started this whole YouTube channel to begin with so stay tuned for that and I hope everyone has a wonderful 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 evening sleep tight don't let the bug bed bugs bite I think that's the saying I think that's how it goes um, and I will talk to you guys soon so I'm not sure if you can see me but I knew I would forget this if I didn't vlog it now but I'm sure like every family has like a WhatsApp group. Um, my family has a WhatsApp group as well. It's my parents, me, my brother, and my sister. And I'm sure your WhatsApp group looks very similar to what I'm about to show you now. It's legitimately like 
all of these random videos of which like I don't think I've ever watched one and then the you know occasional voice note my mom leaves so hey, don't forget the palak leke honi a frozen spinach bye <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, Mama Lehel is super duper serious about her sock, and when it goes on sale at Fertino's, she makes us all like she gives us each twenty dollars, and then she makes like each of us go into our own aisle, into our own register, so we can each take like I think the limit sometimes is four, so we can each buy four, so she can make like literally like a month's worth of sog in one go. So I'm sure that's not just my mom. I'm sure that's every. Indian mom in Brampton for you and yeah just had to share that with you guys okay bye